Hello, I'm Tim, I'm the PM for the package stage. And today I want to do a quick walkthrough of a new feature that's available now on gitlab.com and will be included for self-managed instances in the 13.2 release, which is scheduled for July 22nd. So what we've added is a new package support for a new package manager format. We've added support for Composer, which will help PHP developers to use their GitLab project or group as a Composer repository. So you can publish dependencies to your GitLab project. You can install them using a group level endpoint. You can authenticate uh, using your personal access token or uh, your job token. And you could also view your dependencies and respective metadata using the package registry UI. Although there's a, a caveat here that we'll see as we go through the demo. <clears throat> okay, so let's open up the documentation. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is create a project and enable the feature. So let's create a new project. Let's call it Composer 101. I'm going to set the visibility level to public. This will give you access to all of the gold level features of GitLab, which is really nice. And I will initialize it with a readme. Okay, here's my, my project. Uh, I'm going to clone this locally. Or I guess, do I have to? Yes, I do. I'm gonna clone this locally. So. And let's get clone. Okay, so we opened it in Atom. Let's see, oops, CD into user. Let's open that. Okay, so we only have our readme. We'll just say this is a demo of the new. Okay, so we now have this project. Uh, we're now synced locally. Maybe what we could do is just test that and say, okay, so we just updated our readme and pushed it. So now we're, we're we're synced, I can see that's there. Let's follow along with the rest of the documentation. So now we have a project. Uh, the first step is to enable the Composer repository. So for that, I could see that it's already enabled. I could see packages and registries here. And if I click on it, I could see that we have the option to publish packages. I mentioned earlier that there's a caveat about the UI. The issue is that you don't see a dedicated tab for Composer dependencies here. We'll be working that on that in milestone 13.3, but for now you still can publish and install dependencies, no problem. If you wanted to turn this feature off, uh, what you could do is go to settings and general, go to visibility, and then there's an option here for you to turn off uh, packages that will disable the feature. If you turn off packages and the container registry, it will actually remove that navigation item. So if you're not interested in using either, uh, then you, you would turn both of those off. Uh, I'm going to turn packages on for now and the container registry as well. Okay, so we have the feature enabled. What comes next? Next up is creating a package project. Well, we already have a project, so I think what we actually want to do is skip this step and then we want to uh, create a composer.json file. So let's do this. Uh, okay, and then inside the file, we want to add this code. I'll just copy this. Now, the note here is to replace namespace with a unique namespace like your GitLab username or a group name. Okay, so let's open Adam. Let's open our composer.json file and we'll replace the namespace with tvizzy, which is my username, and save. 
Okay, we already have a, a git. We do need to add a, a composer.json file. So let's see, git status, git. We'll just commit these changes. We'll say composer. Yes, we're really following along with the documentation. If I could remember how to uh, insert quotes. Okay, then let's tag this, which will create the reference uh, to the dependency file. So git tag. Um, do we need to do git origin? I think we could just do git push origin. B. Okay, so I could see that my changes were pushed and that it pushed this new v1.0.0 .0 tag. So let's see if I go back to my project. I do not see it there. So let me try doing just a, a regular, which will actually push the files. I only pushed the tag before, that was the problem. Okay, now I could see my composer file. I could see this is what I added, but how do I confirm that the tags are there? Let's see, um, I, if I go to the repository and I see tags, I should see v1.0.0. .0. Okay, so next up, we want to try to publish the package. So to do this, we'll need a personal access token with the scope set to API and then the project ID. Okay, so let's go and create a personal access token. So to do that, I'm gonna click on my uh, avatar up here and then I'm gonna click settings. I'll open this in a new window. And then here we see access tokens. Call the, we're going to name this one Composer 101 and we'll set the expiration date for the 10th. And here are the different options. Uh, for this, we want to set it to API, which grants access to the package registry. We do have an issue open that will add more granular permissions for the personal access token so that you could, well, you could have read package registry and write package registry. So you don't have to give a full API scope. But for now, this is what we're limited to. Okay, so we'll create this token. Here it is. I'm gonna delete this token after the demo, so it should be safe. And then I'll just paste it in here for now. Okay. So looking at the documentation again, we have this uh, curl command that we can copy and we'll adjust this, inserting the variables. So I see here the, the curl command includes the tag. Now the tag we know is the 1.0.0. The personal access token is the next variable we're gonna fill in. We might just replace that here. And then we need the project ID. To find the project ID, you go to your project home and it's right here underneath the project title. And this should be okay. So let's try this to run this curl command. Terminal. Add illegal format or missing URL. Hmm. Oh, I think what happened was I had a break. There we go. Okay, and we got the two one success. So if we go to back to the project and we scroll to the package registry. I could see that my package was created, uh, version 1.0.0, and I could see some basic information here like name, version, and when it was created. 
Cool. That's great. So the next thing that I wanted to show quick is how could you do this and get started using um, GitLab CI CD. So one option here would be to say uh, we have this quick navigation item for setting up CI. And then we have, uh, you can apply a template. So one nice thing about, about Composer is one of the community members, uh, Joe Shin, who was a, a big contributor to the Composer repository in general, also created a Composer template. And what this will do is automatically fill in your GitLab environment variables, like your commit tag and reference name, and it will publish a, a package. So let's see. I, I'm going to add this template. Say so yeah, I get that CI so template to publish their dependencies. Okay, so we just added a template uh, or a pipeline template. That should actually kick off a pipeline. So if I go to CI CD and pipelines, I can see it's running. Let's click into the job and see what's happening. Okay, job succeeded. So it looks like uh, package created. I see that there was a success code. So let's go back to the package registry UI. And I see a different option there that was published just 17 seconds ago. Okay, so what we just did is uh, we got set up with Composer. We published a package using the command line NCI. There's a couple of issues, um, as this is an MVC, that are probably worth calling out. You'll notice that this says manually published. Normally what happens when you publish a, a package using CI is you'll get to see uh, which pipeline which and which commit was responsible for that. That's an issue. And then, like we mentioned, you also can cannot see isolate just your composer dependencies here. So that's another issue. But we'll be working on those things um, in the coming milestones. And there's always room for community contributions as well. Uh, so that's it. If you have any questions, you could uh, always feel free to reach out to me at tbrizia.gitlab.com. You can submit an issue or just comment in one of our existing issues. Looking forward to uh, hearing your feedback and seeing, seeing your usage. Thanks, everyone.